Welcome to Code Corner. My name is Ryan Mayfield, and this is a video series that we put on at Mayfield Renewables that covers different code sections as it relates to solar and solar plus storage installations. Today, we're going to be looking at the 2023 National Electrical Code. So this is a newer uh, requirement that's come out. And really what we're going to focus on are two sections, 690.7 and 690.31G. Uh, and really, it's all about the system allowances over 1,000 volts. And so I'm going to pull up some of the, the key language. 690.7 is all about system voltages. 31 is talking about wiring methods. And so it's kind of a combination when we're looking at these systems over 1,000 volts. There's some distinct and new, I would say, relatively dramatic changes as it relates to the over 1,000 volt systems. Most of the other stuff, less than 1,000 volts, the language has changed a little bit, and so it's worth taking the time and reading and understanding, but the really the requirements have kind of stayed static there. It's really this over 1,000 volts that I want to spend the most time on. So let's look at the 690.7 language, and all of this is updated language from the 2020 code. So we're going to 690.7, again, talks about uh, calculating maximum system voltage, and that voltage code, code says it's the highest voltage between any two conductors uh, or uh, between any two conductors or uh, and ground, and they need to comply with the following. So the order is really the same as 2020. This first one, if you read it and you look back at the 2020 code, the language is a, it, it reads differently, but it's it's getting to the same point really. And so what we're saying or what the code is saying is that, Circuits shall not exceed a thousand volts when we are on or attached to buildings and the uh, PV system DC circuits inside buildings, or, or we can't have system voltages over a thousand volts. Basically, if it's on or in a building, uh, the, the array is on or in a building. That's where the change kind of comes in. So we're still limited to thousand volt rooftop PV systems and commercial applications. It's kind of the, the gist of it where the, the different language comes in and we're going to get into number three and our higher voltage systems is where this kind of comes into play. But let's look at number two real quick. This one hasn't changed at all. 600 volts, one and two family dwellings, maximum system voltage is 600 volts. That's all you get. So that hasn't changed uh, from the 2020 code. The Change here also talks about uh, PV systems over 1,000 volts shall comply with 690.31G. So this gets into wiring methods uh, for our PV systems over 1,000 volts. So let's jump up and take a look at that one. And again, this is a brand new section within code. And one of the things that, uh, well, let's let's talk about the code. Let's talk about the language. And then we'll kind of talk about how it applies to other places over 1,000 volts DC. And basically this is saying that if you have systems over 1,000 volts, this is what has to happen. Shall not be permitted on one and two family dwellings. So this is really duplicative of 690.7 that already said we can't be over 600 volts. So this is just driving that message home. I can't do it. Shall not be permitted within buildings containing habitable rooms. So we can't have greater than 1,000 volts in our multifamily dwelling type units, things with habitable rooms, we can't put these circuits there. Where we can install circuits greater than 1,000 volts is on the exterior buildings, and they can't have to be located less than 10 feet above grade, and we cannot have them run more than 10 meters or 33 feet along the building surface. So I'm going to show an image of that to kind of help illustrate this. So if we have an array that's greater than 1,000 and in this case, you know, our working limits for our PV systems are 1500 volts at this point. Uh, but if we have a greater than a thousand volt array out ground mounted array, what this code is allowing us to do is if this, is, if this is a building without habitable rooms, we can actually bring that circuit in and then put our equipment on the building. So this would be 1500 volt equipment, presumably. As long as we don't go greater than 10 feet above grade and we don't have more than 33 feet of total width for the, you know, the 
the uh, wiring method. So our conduit um, that is coming up on the building over to the inverter, that 1500 volt equipment, we can't exceed 33 feet. So it's a very you know limited box that we're placed in, but nonetheless, this is helping us in the sense of you have that array out there and you it maybe makes more sense for your equipment to be located at the building or on the building. And so now we have that ability. Previously, the way code had read was that we could not have DC circuits on or uh, on or in buildings that were greater than a thousand volts. And so this would not be allowed under 2020. So this is a new allowance, pretty big deal. And so something that, you know, as you start to in court or as your jurisdictions adopt 2023 code and you're doing these larger ground mount systems with higher voltages, it may be something that you can utilize. One of the things I wanted to point out was it's actually back in 690.7. There's a reference to in 2020 code, there's a reference to how if your uh, systems are less than 1500 volts, they don't have to comply with parts two and three of article 490. Well, in 2023, Article 490 was actually deleted and was replaced with 495. And the title of 495 is Equipment Over 1,000 Volts AC, 1,500 Volts DC Nominal. So really that Article 495 for our systems today, for the systems we have that are 1,500 volts and less, that that's the maximum system voltage. And so we wouldn't even apply to that article entirely because we're going to be less than that value. So this is kind of that uh, that ability to to put our equipment under the 2023 code. So this is something that you know if you are in a in a tight spot working with your inspector and you're still under the 2020 code, we we've had success of looking forward at forward codes and being able to apply future codes. But uh, nonetheless, even if that's not the case, here is a option for those of you that are under under the 2023 code. So that wraps up this conversation on the greater than 1,000 volts systems for the 2023 code as it applies to those specific code sections. We covered this and other NEC topics in great detail in the workshops we provide, both in person and online. In addition, we have design and engineering services, as well as consulting for PV and energy storage systems, EPCs, and manufacturers. So if you'd like to learn more about our services and how we might be able to help you, please feel free to give us a call or visit us at mayfield.energy.